Hi guys, okay, yesterday I posed a question at you uh, regarding, you know, why eat, the way you eat your foods could be, let's say, inhibiting your results or, you know, stopping you from, you know, losing weight or, or gain, gaining muscle, whatever your goal may be. Okay, so, um, the way we eat our foods, there's, there's a few things that could be going on, but I'm just going to give you three today. All right, so... Um, okay, so when we eat our foods, it's probably fair to say that we we gobble it down quite quickly. We're we're stressed, we're on the go, and we've never got time for anything. Or so we 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 let, we allow ourselves to believe. So we eat our foods quickly. Okay, so what happens is you take a few bites, and, you know, you swallow big chunks of food. Okay, so you've got big chunks of food sitting on your stomach. It's not really cool, you know, our body is designed to chew foods, break foods down, take time, and then it's, it's easier for the stomach to go through its certain processes. So, you know, there's three things here. Number one, um, that is digestion. Okay, so big lumps of food on your stomach. It's harder for your stomach acids to break down that food. Okay, so this is possibly going to be causing things like bloating, potential gas, um, and you're not going to get what you need um, the stomach to do, okay? Number two, um, if it's a follow-on that, you know, big lumps of food, you're not going to get the nutrients and the amino acids, you know, from that food. So even if you're eating well, eating good whole food, you're not going to get everything from it, okay? So big lumps of food sat on your stomach, you know, your digestive enzymes come along they can't get into the food because there's too much to too much to do so you know you waste it and you know you don't get you know all the goodness from that food so um this contributes to weight loss because if you're not getting the nutrients you're more likely to be hungry again in a few hours time so you eat more food okay can you see where i'm going with that okay number three you got to enjoy your food, okay? Food is good. Food tastes good. Healthy food is actually pretty damn good. Um, you know, obviously pizzas, chips and cake taste good. But, you know, that's... We could go down the emotional, uh, physical hunger route, which we won't today. Um, but whole food tastes good, and you know that. Um, so enjoy it. Chew your food. Enjoy the moment. Okay, so um, here's a little challenge for you. It's very difficult to get out of this, and I'll put my hands up and admit that I'm there. Okay, so I'm on the go, I'm rushing around, I'm eating food too quickly. So, mindfully, when I'm chewing my food, at that point where normally I would swallow, I'm trying to chew you know, two or three, maybe more times, and that's quite difficult. And you got to find that one out. It's quite difficult, but like of anything, we we never used to be able to squat. We never used to be able to deadlift. We never used to be able to run. We never used to be able to pick our nose, <laughs> but we practiced. You know, we practiced at it, and then we got better. And then what happens when you practice is subconsciously you do it, okay? And then we're in this for the long game. So practice that. Chew your food a bit more. It's probably the easiest thing you could start doing today, other than drinking more water. Okay, so let's sum that up. Chew your foods more. It's going to help with digestion. It's going to help with your weight loss. You're going to get more from your food, and you're going to enjoy it. Okay, all right. That's Phil Sims, Leamington Spa personal trainer and online coach. I'll be back with you soon. Take care.